Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the first chapter of advanced digital signal processing subject. So here we have dedicated this chapter to see the various fundamentals with respect to the digital spectrum. We have been already introduced to the difference between continuous time, discrete time and the digital signal. So after various small small MATLAB demonstration with respect to the signal processing, after the knowledge of Fourier series, let us have another one that is MATLAB program for Fourier series. So let us begin with the topic. So here we begin with our topic MATLAB program Fourier series. So as we have to work into the MATLAB environment, there should be objective. So what task is to be performed with the MATLAB tools? So here we have our MATLAB programming to reconstruct the following periodic signal represented by its Fourier series by considering only 3, 5 and 59 terms here. So here we have been provided the signal represented as x of t. So x of t is given as 1 by 2 added to the summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity for b sub x n in multiplication to sine of n times omega sub x 0 times t here where b sub x n is equal to the ratio of 2 to that of pi in multiplication of small n here and omega sub x 0 is provided as 2 pi f where f is the frequency omega we consider for the angular frequency here and the angular frequency what omega we have talked about it can be derived by using the value of f to be equal to 1 here. So here we can switch to the MATLAB environment. So in the MATLAB environment first of all we require a new script here for the programming purpose. So here I take a new script here and we want all the unnecessary windows of MATLAB to be closed here hence close all. Next to that the unnecessary variables that may be there in the workspace these all should be getting cleared and the command window should also be clear screen here. So after that the first line I shall be mentioning a comment line what is the purpose of having this particular program. So I just mentioned with the percentage sign it will be commented here. So I write here this is a program to reconstruct the periodic signal or periodic square pulse signal we can write using partial sum of Fourier series. So this objective we have taken here, we have already revised that with the help of the Fourier tool. So whatever the periodic signal if the pulse is taken, so that can be represented with the infinite number of sinusoids, either the components into the form of sine or cosine here. So now we move further to this particular script here. So here we first of all write sims t real here. So for the shortcut for for the symbolic representation of the variables here next to that here we shall be having the variable named capital n and to this capital n we can provide the input from the command prompt and here the input from the command prompt can be the instruction first of all we shall be mentioning enter the number of signals to reconstruct. So as we have seen into the mathematical formulation of Fourier series there can be the infinite components here. So out of that the finite number here we are specifying here. So now we can end this syntax line with the help of semicolon. By the next line we can also have another variable. So I shall mention it to be n underscore r. And now here also we shall be 
accepting the input from the command window here. So this is the input syntax and within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes here, we mention the instruction to be printed here. Enter the number of harmonics in each signal as an array. So after these two instructions, we shall be getting the input details to this MATLAB program here. Now next to that, we require a time variable. So the time variable t here, we extend from minus 1 with the intervals of 0 0.002 up to plus 1 here. Ending with the semicolon, we shall be having the omega. underscore o to represent the capital omega underscore zero here and it will be equal to two the multiplication can be represented by the asterisk here into pi here so pi will be the constant holding the value 3.14 here now we can make the use of for loop here so for for loop we require the intermediate variable so that intermediate variable can be small k here and this small k we are running for the loop of for 1 to capital N here. Now we take the array in the form of variable N and initially we hold it to be a null array. So only the square brackets opening and closing here we have mentioned here. Next to that the same variable small n we specify with the values starting from 1 with the interval of 2 up to whatever the number of harmonics we have obtained as input from the command prompt window here. So here we shall be mentioning n underscore har and to this we provide k as input. Next to that whatever the formulation we have seen for the given signal here the formulation here we can get back to so this is the x of t the x of t is consisted of b suffix n here that is provided to us as 2 divided by pi into n here and next to that omega 0 so omega 0 we have tried to declare here already and f is equal to 1 that is why we have mentioned it to be only the multiplication of 2 into pi here. Getting back to the MATLAB environment here. So here we write b underscore n as the variable and it can be obtained by 2 dot division here. So dot division here we are going for the element wise division here and in the denominator we specify within the parenthesis we have the multiplication of pi with the variable n here. Next to that we write l underscore n as the variable and here we specify the length here. So length of the variable n can be recorded into l underscore n here. By the next line now we shall be generating the signal x of t what was in given into the program statement here so x is equal to we write 1 by 2 it means 0 0.5 here which can be added to here we have b underscore n that has multiplication with the sine function so the sine function is having inside the bracket omega underscore o in multiplication to the variable n here into t here. So now we end this syntax with the help of semicolon and now it's a part of plotting here. So whatever the components we have to plot we shall be making the use of subplot command here. So here we shall be writing subplot and the input variables can be capital N 
कॉमा वन कॉमा स्मॉल के हीर नेक्स्ट टू दैट वी कैन बी राइटिंग द प्लॉट एंड देर इट विल बी द प्लॉट ऑफ टाइम वेरिएबल टी एंड एक्स हीयर सो टी विल बी ऑन टू दी हॉरिजोंटल एक्सिस वेर एज एक्स विल प्लॉट द एम्पलीट्यूड लेवल्स ऑन टू दी वर्टिकल एक्सिस हीयर नाउ देर कैन बी अ लेबलिंग पार्ट एज वेल सो हीयर वी शैल मैंशन एक्स लेबल so on to the x axis within a pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes we mention small t and on to the y axis as we take the command y label we write here a recons signal ending with the semicolon now here we go for the use of axis and here for the axis we specify the range from minus 1 to plus 1 then from minus 0.5 to 1.5 here now here we mention the use of text here that is from 0.55 comma 1.0 comma within square brackets here we specify number of harmonics so hr here and it is equal to so by comma here we mention the value by num 2 str number to string here and here we mention n underscore har for harmonics and specify k as its input here so the task is now completed and now we can end this for loop here so now this is the program whatever the task we have taken with respect to the reconstruction by using the fourier series so here we first of all save this program and then we can execute to see the result so here we save with the name program 1_18 so dot m will be the file extension that you can see so this file has been generated into the current directory as well the tab name has been changed here now we can run this program so see here on to the command prompt there it is a question enter the number of signals to reconstruct here so here we specify the number of signals to be reconstructed as 3 pressing the enter the another information it is asking as we have programmed here so it is mentioning to enter the number of harmonics in each signal as an array so as it has been asked for array we specify the values into the square bracket so the first value is 3 second value is 5 and the third value is 59 we complete the array by the closing square bracket here and pressing the enter here now we can see the status of matlab to be busy here and now here the output window has appeared here so i maximize this output window so in this output window we have the subplots here three subplots into the corresponding three rows the first subplot is representing a plot of t values on to the horizontal axis ranging from minus 1 to plus 1 here the intervals we can see from minus 1 to minus 0.8 then minus 0.6 minus 0.4 0 is at this middle here and on to the vertical axis we have a mention of a recon signal so from minus 0.5 to plus 1.5 we have plotted these values so this is the representation of the first signal so the first signal value it was for the harmonic equal to 3 here so here on to the right hand side in this subplot we have a mention of number of harmonic is equal to 3 here so in the similar fashion we have the number of harmonic is equal to 5 at the middle subplot here and at the last subplot here we have the number of harmonic is equal to 59 so as we can switch our attention from the first subplot to the second and from the second subplot to the third here 
you can see here whatever the sinusoidal nature that it was into the plot here or into the graphical signal representation here now it is getting a shape of square pulse here so small ripples still we can see at the edges of the pulse into the on and off condition here but still with increased number of harmonics we can find it to be a perfect square pulse here so with this matlab demonstration we conclude this topic here by the next video we shall be with the same chapter digital spectrum to learn the four year transform concepts here thank you